Hello wonderful people, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. You are here with you, I'll be doing a fragrance review from the house of Givenchy once again. A lot of Givenchy fragrance in recent times. This was uh, one fragrance I anticipated for a very long time. I was very hyped up and I'm here to tell you my thoughts on Givenchy gentlemen. The new version, EDP concentration. There are four in this line, it can get very confusing. I'm gonna clear out things in case you haven't watched my previous reviews. I will discuss everything keep watching if you are interested in this perfume so this fragrance uh, I uh, think I got it like a few days back and I had originally like at first the very first fragrance I owned from this like this line was Givenchy gentlemen this is the older formulation this is discontinued now the vintage of this version would be this cap would be like silver square and the writing would be much bigger that was the 70s or 80s vintage version I forgot so this is kind of like animalic very nice leather honey and uh, kind of like a was it civet or oak moss like one of those notes but this prominent leather in this so this fragrance they changed I mean like they stopped this production and then they came up with the new one this is called Givenchy gentlemen this is the newer version I think this came out in 2018 or 19 I think I think 19 and this is like a whole new formulation all right so this gets confusing because of another reason because I'll show you before I start the review because many people are watching this line for first time you know this bottle this also looks like Givenchy gentlemen but pay close attention it's like Givenchy only gentlemen so if you know already do not um, uh, mind because uh, there are a lot of people who are new so they can get confused with this line this is another line they have Givenchy gentlemen only chic and I think there are some other uh, flankers to this but uh, I review more or less almost all of them just few left the chic one I'm really interested so only line is separate so this one new one okay so they have the EDT EDP Cologne and EDP Boise Boise I haven't tried that's the last one from this line I'm yet to review so originally I did review this one fantastic it's a masterpiece already EDT you know this has everything to like about it the gentleman EDT so now let's see the EDP and before that my scent of the afternoon is cool water intense by Davidoff one of my most favorite all year round summer no all year round summer all year round fragrance with beast mode longevity and projection uh, this is one of the best fragrances your money can buy at this moment in the market on a budget uh, David of cool watering does so now let's hit the review first of all it comes in this beautiful beautiful black box I really love this it's a normal paper box cardboard box but check out the like how handsome this looks this looks dark this looks I um, mean uh, like everything like EDP written here even the, the logo it's just so beautifully done it has some two-toned like kind of like a glossy here the sticker and then the, this one is kind of like matte black so this is 100 ml bottle size I think they have few others there uh, in their arsenal so this is 100 ml bottle the bottle here I think is the nicest looking one from the line I really love this the white one is nice too but next to EDT comparing you can see the difference you can go and check them out all in the mall you will be pleasantly surprised and I have a lot of good things to say about this first of all the bottle is super cool I don't think you can see through the juice because it's painted so very nice touch look at the heavy glass base this is a very heavy bottle just like the other Givenchy gentleman and this has a nice neck to it the cap will have that uh, detailing the name but it does not say EDP here you have to recognize this by the bottle color okay EDT will be transparent with the black sticker this will be hold all the way black and make sure you buy the EDP and also know there's EDP Boise back looks like that where is the batch code I think it's gonna be underneath okay and nice very nice presentation let's spray this okay very heavy cap good quality cap so Givenchy is just killing you know at this moment they're slaying <laughs> okay let's spray this how many sprays uh, this fragrance I think I am gonna go uh, based on the concentration you just need two to three sprays of this this is truly EDP concentration it's a very very beast mode fragrance longevity is through the roofs you're gonna get like easily even summer days I get like seven eight hours from it winter time 10 hours plus is gonna push okay and this fragrance projection because EDP does not project as much as the EDT if you want a projector you should go with the EDT if you want something for summer and more versatile you should go for this one or the cologne this is almost like a winter exclusive and also I think you can pull this off if in air condition situation also let's say if it's a rainy cloudy day very breezy cool day and you just feel craving for something you know dark this is a fragrance to wear so how does it smell like this fragrance smells 
fabulous, fabulous. I wa waited a few days, tested it, and people compared this with, if you go Fragantica with Valentino Wuo Intense, that is another dark bottle and the gorgeous bottle. I think I'm finishing my bottle soon. And this I heard is discontinued, I have to get a backup bottle. Really lovely bottle. So this basically is iris, uh, leather, chocolate, very creamy, beast mode, projector and longevity fragrance for uh, beast mode performer for winter time. You guys know this. And also they compared this with Diorum Intense. This is my older 2014 bottle. So they are all in the same category. They all have that common note of iris. They have sweetness, sometimes suede leather or something leathery like, a little bit of gourmand, mysterious. I'm just describing the fragrance. This is very up class. This is just like Diorum Intense and Valentino Uvo Intense, but this is more up class than Valentino Uvo Intense for me. This is very much like a flirty date clubbing scenario. This fragrance, you have to suit it up. You have to wear it formally. Like this is a formal fragrance right here. And the blend, this is not as, um, sorry, this is not as, uh, let's say, I do not love this as much as Diorum Intense because this is very hard to beat in my world. I love this so much. And Lipstick on, those two are my favorite. And also Lounge Noir by Long Givenchy, I think, yeah. So the quality of this, this is a lot more sweeter, a lot more safer and a lot more um, versatile compared to this. This, you really need that occasion. What is occasion? You are gonna go with her for dinner. Let's say even in summers, but the restaurant has nice air conditioning, very nice setup and you just dressed up really well. You took out your car and you're in a good mood. You took shower, you, you know, did your hair, you put on your favorite, watch let's say rolex <laughs> i don't have mean like rolex even if you have a nice seco any watch that you like you really really enjoy and then you put everything that you like best on you and you wear a little bit of dark theme put this on this has amazing uh quality blend okay first of all when you smell it it's not as loud this one doesn't project like you vui or dhi this one projects like two hours okay one and or like one and a half to two hours after that it'll be like i said about two feet but i think it'll be a little bit more like you have a nice scent bubble around you when you pass people by they'll smell you but you're gonna get compliments you're gonna get respect this smells very up class this is so nice i saw steven and i think carlos brooklyn fragrance lover they reviewed this i was so intrigued by that you know like i don't know how many people covered it but those two guys are some of the best reviewers in the world so this is really next level stuff okay i'm not gonna say sh <laughs> but this is something i really enjoy but you cannot wear this every day okay uh, like in my humble opinion this is a very special occasion fragrance this is a fragrance you uh, preserve for parties you know weddings or dates perhaps this could be a wedding scent you know like it could be a signature scent worthy so at first i thought there's no iris in this i just was detecting kind of like pear similar to this one the original EDT but this is a lot fresher and sweeter and fruitier compared to this is darker so this is as good as it gets in this line this is I think following the whole line of Givenchy are kind of following Diorome, Diorome Intense, Diorome Parfum so perhaps they will be releasing a Parfum version of this that would be lovely but by no means this is a clone of Diorome Intense okay all three I'll just tell you at this moment all three are collection worthy nothing is like worse or better than each other they have their plus they have their uh, what you call the prestige and they have their special strong point so longevity is as good as the other two but just projection is going to be a little bit less than the other two because this is edp but the fragrance is very strong this will fill up a room easily you spray this your room will have the smell for next five six hours okay so yeah i mean the price range on this i'm not quite sure how much is going in the world but do not pay retail on this they're going to be discounted later so perhaps 65 to 75 bucks let's say 75 bucks is tops you should pay for this okay uh, for the quality uh, if let's say you can get it cheaper great if you can get it under 60 dollars it's a steal all right so Givenchy gentlemen uh, EDP or a perform you guys know what's coming up this is I cannot give this any uh, like bad uh, review only thing I can think of this is not for uh, younger teenager teenagers or school school goers this is not gonna be up the alley because this is a little bit more mature this is let's say 35 and up 30 and up when you're already in the workforce you already are married perhaps or dating someone something like you are engaged and you're already like you know you're kind of like a grown-up man this is the smell your father if you gift it to him if you give it to your elder brother uncles they're gonna love you okay and ladies this is the kind of fragrance you should give to your man okay 
so premium, so good, deserves a lot of love, a lot of hype and a lot of talk. Okay, Givenchy, gentlemen, EVP. Solid, solid tank bottle. Love it, perfect 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys. That's all I have for today and I uh, will review a lot more fragrances if everything goes good. I have a lot of fragrances to review for both men and women. Uh, give some love to Givenchy guys. Amazing house, a lot of great fragrances. Check out my reviews on other Givenchy's. See you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.